Huh. Huh. And I'm on the porch like, oh, they shooting, shooting. <laughs> I got to go. The time that I survived a drive-by. Where you hear sirens on the hour, every hour. The nickname to our city actually was bad news because it kind of was nothing but bad news. Honestly, it won't that bad. I'm not sure how old I actually was during this time, but I'm going to say maybe around 10 years old. So I was sitting on the porch at my grandmother's house. It was a normal day, just like any other day. So eventually I start playing, you know, running around, climbing trees, found a needle on the ground, start sticking worms with it, cause that's just the stuff we used to do when we were kids. And I sat on the porch and I was just chilling, you know? There was a guy standing on the corner, not too far from where I lived. He was probably selling paraphernalia, nothing unusual where I'm from. So I really didn't pay much attention to it. And then I seen a car pull up slowly in front of my house. The windows were tinted, so I really couldn't see who it was. He eventually passed our house and made his way near the man on the corner. And once he got close enough, he started to speed up. And all of a sudden, I hear a... Huh. Huh. And I'm on the porch like, oh, they shooting, shooting. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> so you know me, I'm 10, but I'm not dumb. I take off. I mean, like, I'm gone, bruh. I was a little chunky, but I was out running everybody, bruh. Even my mama took off. I'm running. I look back. <laughs> my mama way behind me. I ended up running behind the house. I got to check to make sure I ain't get hit. Luckily, I didn't get hit, but my mama, she was not hit either so you know we was good and basically we just went back in the house and ate dinner and chilled for the rest of the day so yeah that's the story about how i was involved in a drive-by in my opinion i think it's kind of sad that this is something that you that you get used to when you're growing up to witness people getting murdered and as for the guy that was standing on the corner he was nowhere to be found so i don't know if he got hit if he survived, if he died or what. And just a few minutes later, you know, the cops came by and that was that. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And if you wanna hear any more stories, leave a comment down below and let me know. Peace.